Welcome to the Fermented Homestead. If you're new here, my name's Anna, and on this channel, I'm sharing our journey of learning how to turn our home into a homestead. Today, I'm gonna show you, well, the first part of today's video is going to be me kind of showing you what I was up to yesterday. I ended up spending most of the day in our big main city. Uh, we went there to get some stuff, at, or I went there to get some stuff at Costco, and then I discovered this terrible, awful place in town where literally one parking lot has TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Bed Bath & Beyond, and Ross, and then across the street is a Home Goods and a Target. There goes my entire day. I didn't spend a terrible amount at those places, but I got some some stuff that I needed. I got some stuff to kind of help us make this place our home. I don't know if I mentioned to anybody before, but when we moved, we got rid of literally every single piece of furniture that we owned. We have nothing. So it's been kind of a challenge trying to figure out how to organize things. And I thought that I would kind of show you how we're doing that. Another challenge that we had was we were storing some, some of our um, extra food in our in our garage. It's like an inner room that's like secured. You know, it like didn't seem like there was any way that anything could get in or out. Turns out the can. There comes some crafty little buggers. Uh, so anyways, we ended up losing like 500 pounds of food at least i think it i think it might have been more that is a huge huge portion of our food storage and so um we came up with a way that we can store food in a way that's not insanely expensive but will keep those little freaking rodents out of our food <clears throat> another thing i need to throw in here i just need to empty my truck really fast so that i can go to the co or to, so that i can go to the farmer's market which is today and then i'll finish the haul when i'm done the first thing that i got was actually a, it was a cooler and this thing's really nice because it has these wheels and it has um it has like this handle so that i can i can pull it up i can wheel it around everywhere and it also has like um little it has ways that I can strap it down, basically. So when I'm like, you know, when I have it in the back of my truck and I'm taking it to the farmer's market, stuff like that, I can I can just strap it in and it's great. I also got two packs of ground beef. Costco is the cheapest place to get ground beef that I can find so far. Uh, it's, I think it was $3.99 a pound. It doesn't say on here what the pound was, but I think it was $3.99 a pound. And it's not any fancy kind of beef. It's just regular regular kind of beef i'm trying to find a place that's not like eight dollars a pound for ground beef and i haven't really found that yet so if you guys know of a place around south in south central missouri where i can get reasonably priced um grass fed grass finished grass finished beef let me know uh, we are planning on getting a cow at some point but that point is not now so i'm just getting beef oh the cooler was 40 44.99 and then I got ice to put in it, $3 a pound for ice, and it's, it's like a, it's a 24 pound, it's a huge pack of ice. It's actually enough ice that I think that I'm gonna be able to take it to the farmer's market today and keep everything cool. I got these storage totes. I'll pull, I'll pull these out and I'll kind of show you um, what they look like, because they're freaking huge and they're sturdy as all get out. I got 15 of those at 164.85. For in the house, these clear ones are fantastic. These things work great, comes in a three pack and it was $21.99. Right now there's the $3, $3 off. I thought that would, these are a great deal. I love these, they have a locking lid. They keep things nice and secure. You can see what's inside. So it's great for clothes, for pantry organization, stuff like that. Um, things that may not necessarily need to be away from the light, like something that you would wanna put in there. I also got two pounds of organic broccoli. I like their broccoli. Oddly enough here, I can get organic broccoli at Costco. I couldn't find it at the Costco back in Washington. And it's hard to find organic stuff around here. They don't, it doesn't seem to be uh, a huge value, a huge emphasis placed on it here. The next thing that I got is this square rack. I haven't actually used this thing yet, but it's a nice, it's a square rack. I think it was 50 some odd inches high. That doesn't say how high it is but it's probably about as tall as me, maybe a little bit shorter. I think this is gonna be great for laundry storage right next to the washer and dryer. Uh, just gonna kinda keep a bunch of chemicals and stuff here. We'll see where I end up doing it. I wanna do it eventually in the kitchen when I get a smaller, when I get a smaller island in the kitchen, I wanna put it there and, and keep some, some kitchen stuff. I got a pack of grapes. They're pretty good, uh, three pounds, 8.99. It's a decent price. And then I got, these are the main reason that we went 
was for these uh, big giant wire storage racks. These things are phenomenal. We love these things. I'll, sh I'll show you these once we get them all set up and you can see what I'm talking about because they're, they're amazing. We got 10 pounds of onions. Unfortunately, I have yet to be able to see, I have yet to see organic onions at Costco. Hopefully they'll come in at some point. Anyways, they're $7.99. Then I got a pack of Topo Chico seltzer for the evening. It was $26.99. Then I got two of these four packs of the same style of the uh, clear type lids, except it has a gray handle. And these are just gonna be great to kind of store kind of smaller utensils, just things that we wanna keep a little bit safe, you know, or keep organized one or the other. That is pretty much it for Costco. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna unload all of this stuff so I can book it to the farmer's market. And then I'll bring you back and I'll show you kind of the other things that are more like for the home, things like that. I got some pretty cute things. The rest of the day is gonna be spent most likely organizing these things. It's actually the next day. I actually ended up getting totally sidetracked. I put together the shelves that we bought at Costco and I've just been totally just working like a mad woman to get the place kind of organized and make it feel a little bit more like home. So, you know, I'm not totally done, but I made a lot of progress in the last couple days and I'm excited. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm not gonna do this in really any particular order. And some of the stuff I don't actually have on me, sorry for the boring sound in the background. My husband's working on a project back there. So there's gonna be some weird noises. Not much I can do about that. So uh, the first place, one of the places that I went to was actually Ace Hardware. I actually went there twice. I didn't go there twice, but I, I did two separate purchases. One of them was, uh, one. the first one was a, um, it's a wade pool for the ducks. I'm ready to put them outside and I needed a place for them to be and they had it pretty inexpensive, it was $12.99. I don't have it inside because it's outside. It's just a pretty simple, basic plastic wading pool. Another thing that I got, Living Traditions Homestead, they did a couple of videos a few years back on uh, these Japanese beetle traps. And so I, I picked up four of these things. Basically it's supposed to last for the whole life cycle of the Japanese beetle, the whole cycle that it would affect your garden. And you, so there, you can use them for the whole time. You can re, you can empty them and just keep reusing them. Uh, they are really starting to come out in force as you guys have seen in previous videos. Anyways, I ended up getting four of those. Hopefully that'll be enough to kind of cover the general area. They they only last for one season, but they are, they are reusable for the season. Like the pheromones that they use to attract the beetles, they expire or I don't know what you'd call it, $8.99 each. I got two of the, like the one gallon, like the pump spray bottles. I bought one that was, um, I don't know if you guys saw it, but it, it was one that's more for like hand watering and um, for like seeding, seedlings. And that one just, it's not gonna, gonna cut it for some of the things I need to do. Uh, for like foliar spraying as well as getting rid of um, bugs with the, the soap. And then I also got uh, one of these, it's like a, a little coupling set or a quick connect, quick connect set for for the hoses outside. And then at Walmart, I just got two, it's like little two little packs of, I, I they're already in the suitcases and, or they're already in the bins and stuff. But I just got two um, packs of, I think they're eight cedar blocks and we're putting them in, um, in our clothing bins to hopefully help to do her any kind of clothing moths, things like that. And then I also got this tray right here. It's a, it's a, it's a, like a TV tray. We don't have a table. So we just got a TV tray so that we can actually eat something on it. One thing I thought was really neat. I'm in need of measuring spoons because all I had in Washington was a couple of individual measuring cups that are stainless steel and all the rest of that what i had was plastic so i got rid of the plastic ones i was like these are not worth toting across the country and so i actually came across these and it's really neat it's like these big spoons that you can actually use like you can leave it in the flour or in bins and stuff like that so i thought this was really handy for um kind of bulk food storage i got two of them they were 11.84 each and that's all I got at Walmart there. And at Lowe's, I got three soaker hoses. We needed them for the potato beds over there because they need a lot more water than we're able to give them. And it was, the soil that we have does not retain moisture at all. It just sits on the top. And if you, so you can't give it a good watering. Um, you can't give it a good watering at one time. Like you have to come through and like, so anyways, we just decided to get some soaker hoses. Hopefully that'll help the process go a little bit better. And it seems to be helping the process. So I got three of those for just for the potato beds. And then, um, and then we also got, 
Oh, we got a mop set. We had, we have a lot of our hardwood and so we just, we needed a mop. And so we got one that was like a little mop and a bucket thing. Um, and hopefully it works. Oh, and then we also got a, it's a, like a big multi-tool kit. We don't have a lot of tools and we need them. So <laughs> we figured we would go ahead and get like a starter kit and then anything that we need to add on later on we can. It has like sockets and wrenches, but overall it's a pretty decent start. And we do have tools. We just don't have many tools. I was really happy to get that one. And we get, it was $99 and it was a 267 piece kit, which you know, that counts each and every little socket and wrench and stuff like that. So, you know is what it is, but I thought it was a pretty decent deal. I like them. I don't know if a lot of guys can relate, but I definitely, I enjoy thrift shopping. I enjoy antique shopping, I've discovered, and you know, just kind of perusing. I like to just peruse, it's relaxing for me. And so I like to go into these kind of like TD Maxx stores where you're, you're kind of, you're walking around and you're just kind of looking at things and figuring out, you know, what what things are there. And it's like, surprise, this is what we have to this time. So um, it, was, it was fun, I got, two of these peppermint oils because they're peppermint oil and they were inexpensive. So uh, these are, uh, from what I hear, are really good at kind of deterring a lot of different types of pests. So anytime that I can get some good quality, inexpensive peppermint oil, um, I'm game. And it does, it is, I don't know if it's like for internal use or it doesn't say organic or anything like that. So I'm not super worried about sourcing organic peppermint oil if I'm not gonna be ingesting it. It's just gonna be for making like various sprays that we can kind of spritz around the house and all, you know other types of things just to kind of repel pests. That's all I bought it for. And then I got this strainer that will fit very nicely in my Instant Pots. So I just thought that was neat. I don't have anything like that that I can put in my Instant Pot. So I've been looking for one and I found it at a good deal. This one was only $5.99. The peppermint oil was $3.99 each. At Home Goods, oh. Home Goods, they had a mini dash for $5. I don't remember how much these things are. I wanna say they were like $12.99. Maybe it says here, $13. They're normally $13. I got it for $5. It was on clearance. I think probably because they're silver and it's not the usual red. I don't know, but I love these things. I have a red one and uh, every time I have it, I wish I had a second one. So that's why I got it. Because usually when you're making it, you're making like two of them and it's nice to be able to make them both at the same time. Ross, I got, I just got this big, big wooden spoon. I ha I can't even count how many times that I stirring around my big stock pots and I just don't have a spoon that's big enough and long enough to be able to reach the bottom and it's frustrating. So I saw this, it was $3.99, $2.99. It was $2.99. I was like, yes, please sign me up. One other, two other things that I got. I feel like, they over oh, I didn't even realize it. I think I overpaid for these, but anyways, I thought they were $12.99 when I bought them. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys out in the garden community have heard of using these little photo organizer things for organizing your seeds, right? And it has these little, these little apartments and you can kind of keep things all nice and snug and organized, right? I've never had a need for these because I've always used I'll, I'll insert here, but I've always used these these big uh, bins that my father made for me, and um, um, they're they're freaking gorgeous. They're actually made for canning jars, and he made them. He dovetailed them. They're just like exquisite, and I love these things. However, with all of the recent issues that we've had with pests, we lost a ton of food to pest damage. I think I mentioned that earlier in the video here. I know that I need to keep my seeds safe. Uh, at least, I know this isn't gonna keep it safe from like pantry moths or anything like that, but it's definitely gonna keep it safe from a lot of things. I will probably end up putting this inside of some other container that's a little bit more secure because I, I got two of these at $14.99 each. And in the next uh, video or two, you and I are gonna be uh, organizing our seeds together and we're gonna be starting seeds. So I got two of these because they only had two. I would have gotten more. I know that these are not gonna work for like pea seeds, bean seeds, things like that. So I was looking for another kind of similar looking one to this. Uh, so I'm gonna have to still be on the hunt for something that'll hold more, the larger seeds like the beans, the peas, things like that. But this is gonna be great for like tomatoes, peppers, all kinds of like, uh, you know, radishes, rutabagas, 
all of those sorts of things. This will this will fit. This will work very well for most of the seeds that I have, with the exception of kind of the larger ones. Bed Bath and Beyond. I got these felt pads. Uh, if you guys remember in one of my one of my recent videos, we converted a piece of furniture over here and I wanna be able to use it as both a countertop against the wall and pull it out when I need to to make videos. So we need to put some kind of a, a pad on them so that they will easily move on the hardwood floor. So I got these and that was definitely something that I really needed to get. And then my husband had asked me if I, if I see one of these things, he wants to be able to make like pastries and stuff like that and make it life light and fluffy. So he just asked me to pick up one when I saw it. So I did. Then I got a regular set of measuring spoons, just the big, nice uh, stainless steel measuring spoon. And then I got these, uh, or pardon me, measuring cups. And then I got these measuring spoons. So I got these ones based on the recommendation of, of um, Acre Homestead, Becky. Her and her mom really suggested these because you can use them and they fit really nicely in spice bottles. And so I was like, yes, please sign me up. I came across them and I picked them up. I think these were these were $12 and I believe the cups were nine. At Target, we got three pack, three boxes of borax because we have discovored that this is multi-use as far as pests are concerned. Uh, my friend Constance over at A Good Life Farm, she told me about mixing up a, mi a mixture of half borax and half sugar and you make it into a paste and you just leave it out where the ants are likely to find it and then they take it back to their motherland and they kill off their whole tribe. Yeah, it works. We had literally had a stream of ants running from the, from the window in the kitchen over there, from the window to the cabinet. It was just a constant stream. And so I put a couple dishes of those over there by the, it was drastically reduced within a couple of hours, and then it was limit, It was gone by the by the next day. I got unscented Dr. Bronner's soap. I got this because if you guys remember, the other day we tried an experiment with uh, sp spraying soap on Japanese beetles, and I told you I think it works. Yeah, it works. They were dead in the mating position the next day. I came upon them, they were done. They were all gone. All the ones that we sprayed, they were dead. They were still there. They're not there now because I'm sure something else came along and got them. But the next two days they were there and um, donezo. And then I also got some peppermint flavor because peppermint helps eliminate pests. And I figure um, I, I won't use that. I don't know. I don't know if I'll use that on my pe plants. Tell me, if you guys, if you think I should use this on the plants or not. Um, but other than that, it was more to mix up things, um, sprays, and, and you know, just peppermint everywhere. Peppermint. Everything is gonna smell like peppermint by the end of this. Peppermint, tea tree, eucalyptus, who knows what else. <laughs> it's gonna be essential oils up in this place. Um, I am actually thinking about signing up for doTERRA because I just, I need more essential oils in my life and I'm thinking about signing up for it. So we'll see if I actually do end up doing it, but I most likely will because I love essential oils and doTERRA seems like the most reputable company to kind of go with. I know there's other options, but I kind of just like it. I just like doTERRA. I like their, their mixes and their blends and they seem to be fairly reasonably priced. So I'm not interested in Young Living, but if you guys have any other suggestions, I would love to hear about them down below. I have heard a couple of them over the year, over the past few months, but I forgot what they are. So forgive me if you've made a suggestion and I have forgotten what they are. I will definitely make sure to write them down or take a screenshot of them so I can remember in the future because I do want, I'm gonna sign up for some kind of an essential oil company, but I just, I'm not sure which one, not Young Living, any other one. I would definitely love to hear what you guys think about them. So. Anyways, I think I'm done rambling. I've shown you all the things that I've gotten. So I am definitely done rambling. Um, I mentioned earlier that I was going to the farmer's market. It was a fairly reasonable size, you know, I think I spent like $30 or something like that. But I'm really shocked at how exp inexpensive the produce is in this area at the farmer's market for no spray stuff. In Washington, this stuff is crazy expensive. Like I never went to the farmer's market because the farmer's market was more expensive than going to the store. But here it's definitely cheaper and it's also the only option that I have for getting organic food. I hope that you guys got some tips and ways that you can, things that you can get to kind of help mediate any kind of pest issues. Uh, pest control and pest mediation is kind of top of the mind right now because it grosses me out. So we're 
gonna do everything that we possibly can to, to uh, remediate that and make it the littlest damage that we can until we're actually able to eradicate them completely. Hopefully that will be an option. <laughs> we're still working on it. There's a few, I think there's some holes and some things um, here and there that we need to figure out. If you guys are new around here, we just moved to South Central Missouri uh, from Washington State. And so that's why things are a little bit weird. We have a few more halls than normally, normal than normal, a few more halls than normal and buying some kitchen gadgets and uh, kind of some household stuff that we don't normally buy because we had all of it in Washington State and didn't need any of it. So normally I, I, I'm just doing videos on setting up the homestead. We are setting up the garden, setting up the animals and doing all the things. And I also like to do videos on food preservation, canning, freezing, dehydrating, fermenting, as well as videos on how you can actually implement and cook those, implement, how you can cook those foods and <laughs> in your everyday kitchen. So if that sounds interesting to you, check out this link here. That's the subscribe button. That's where all the awesomeness happens right there. Up here is a video Mr. Google Pants thinks that you're gonna enjoy. This here is my last Missouri uh, vlog video. And up here is the Missouri uh, vlog playlist. Make sure you check that one out for all the awesomeness. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.